Mike, another channel. Did, 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 did YouTube what ban am I doing? you? Because did YouTube ban you from putting too many videos on one channel, and so now you have to open up a second channel to get more videos out? Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> so uh, you're talking about a new channel I brought up, the Daily Financial News. Yeah. Um, it was. It's. It's actually a pretty funny story. Yeah. Uh, so I met with I met with Ryan Pineda and Sean Cannell in Vegas over the last six or eight weeks. Yep. Uh, we put out some great videos. I think. Sean, Sean's videos got like 20,000 views and Ryan's has got like 75 or 76,000. So thank you to those guys. Nice. But not only did we do those recordings, I got coaching. I got advice from two monsters of the game, right? Yeah. Both of them said essentially the same thing. Both of them basically said, Michael, you put out too much content, right? Six videos a day breaks the YouTube algorithm. And you know, you've done great, but if you really want to get huge, you got to, you got to do less, right? Instead of doing three short videos, do one long one. They gave me lots of advice. Sounds wicked familiar. Yeah. Wicked familiar. Right. Um, and you know, we talked about the daily financial news a bunch because that, you know, that's daily the most popular video, right? 5,000 sure. views a day is not sure. uncommon. So we talked about that. I sat on it for a while. And um, I guess I came to a couple of things. One, I'm not changing. I'm having too much fun. Uh -huh. I'm not here for the YouTube algorithm. Exactly. So don't really care. Yep. But two, I would like to help more people. Yes. Sure. Right? It's kind of that juxtaposition. So I looked at my channel, which now has 12,000 videos, and realized that it's too much. I, it's too much. So it wasn't too I much at 2000. It was too much at 12,000. Just check exactly. Yeah. Just got yeah, it. Just check it. Got it. And again, uh, we've been doing this four years. I think you and I've been doing this together for three years. Three. Yeah. Yeah. And I, um, I'm not stopping. I'm having too much fun. I look forward. I I'm it. broke. I'm just broken, uh -huh. <laughs> but it's kind of a, it's a juxtaposition. So the first thing I thought about was, you know, what if, what if I took the daily financial news uh -huh. and again, leave it on this channel because I do it live Yep, and that's not stopping. I want people to be right. very clear on one rental at a time, nearly 50,000 subs. You will get the daily financial news live at 7 30 AM, five days a week. That's the deal. Sure. Yep. But I have a content creator that does some stuff that does my shorts. What if he took that video from 7 30 AM chopped it up, made some charts, graphs, and then posted it at six o'clock on the other channel. So it, it was important for me to be the same day. Yeah. It has to be the same day, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's timely. It's timely, right? Yeah. And sure. he says he could do it. And um, I said, let's give it a shot. And I got some notes, right? I got a note just this morning and I want to read it because this is exactly why. So this came from, actually, it's in my photograph. Sorry. One sec. This came from Michael, Michael R. Yeah. Uh, he says, my opinion, I love the new daily financial news. I never get to watch it on the main channel live because of scheduling conflicts. But I love this new channel because the edits with text on the screen are helpful. Yep. I can set notifications without getting my inbox overloaded with other content. Yep. Absolutely. Having the daily on one channel is great for me because I watch only 45 minutes of YouTube a day, usually while on the treadmill, uh -huh. and you get half the time. I have been a viewer of one ORAT since 2021, and now I will subscribe to the daily financial news. This is this is this is my struggle, right? I put out so much content, people don't subscribe. Right. They don't subscribe because they don't want all this other stuff. They're not interested in Seattle uh -huh. or Southern California. Uh -huh. So my answer to less content from people bigger than me is, of course, more content. So that's what I did. Well, it's one of those funny things, right? Like you and I came from corporate America mm -hmm. and imitations, the, the highest form of flattery. And we don't need to learn our own lessons. I mean, even though you're 12,000 in, just saying. Yeah. Um, but, but the key, but the key to it is, is that when we realize when we kind of, there's certain things that we can just, yep, that's logical. I'm just going to do it that way. And then there's other stuff where it's like, you know what? I think I like what I'm doing, but I'm always open to change. 
right? And you have to be able to pivot. And so now you look at it and you say, certainly to the point now where people need that. And even if they don't want all of the other information, here's at least a core what they should be doing with every single day, you know, because yeah. I spend my time, you know, CNBC's on in my house from the time I wake up until later on in the day. Yeah. And that thing is on in the background and it's literally like I'm in a wall street office, but I'm hearing what banks are doing, all that stuff that's going on. But yeah. I think that that gives people a target, which is really important. Oh, poor Barry. Yeah. yeah he's on there a couple of times. The, the yeah. other thing that I think is important is I love the thumbnails that the team are doing now. Yeah. Right. It's just like taking one topic, making it the point of the thing. I think this will get more clicks, more yep. views from folks. Uh, it's obviously starting very slow, but that's okay. It takes it takes time to get there. But really, at the end of the day, I think I'll serve more people. Yes, because I think I think the daily financial news live attracts certain people. Right, five thousand yep. people come back a day to get their fix, and they like yes. the raw, the unedited, you know, the sneeze, the just it live is live, right? Yep. But I also think. I'm in, I'm missing out on folks that want a little bit more splash, a little bit more charts, a little bit more editing. So I think putting that on a separate channel is, I think I think it will work out. Well, but, I think if know, they're we'll new, see. they don't know where to go. Yeah, exactly. Right? If they're new, they don't know where to go. And I think this gives them, this is the only thing that you need to care about, you know? And I think that there's a lot of information in there and it's not just about housing. Right. Not just, you know, it's kind of how the economy is going, how the market's going, what's happening, how that, how will that affect housing per se? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, a, it, there's a lot of information in there. You know, there's, you know, CNBC has maybe 10 minutes a day of actual real estate He's information, breaking. Yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. And then they've got, you know, two hours and 50 minutes of not. So, yeah, yeah I think it's a great idea. I think it'll, I think it'll go really well. I think people need to hear this from an investor and an economist who's been in the market for 20 years. Yeah. It feels like the right decision. Um, just so everybody knows, I will likely have yet a, another channel called the best of ORAT where that channel is going to be slightly different than daily financial news is it will be picking the video from the previous day that had the most views and putting it on its own channel. Because again, my big fear is I get a new viewer and then I overwhelm them. Sure. Right. This freaking guy's nuts. What is he doing? What's what's it, overwhelming about 12,000 videos? I don't understand. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I, I you know, and, and then the last thing that's important for me, frankly, is I'm doing zero new work. Exactly. I've added yep. zero work, right? I, I do have to pay for it, but that's the least of my concerns. I'm adding zero minutes, zero extra to, to my uh, daily routine, which is, I see it as a win. I get, I can reach more people. I give people a chance who get overwhelmed with me. Um, I can now peel apart, you know, 12,000 videos and really create different categories for folks. So I, it, it feels, um, it feels like the right move. I don't know. I think it is. I mean, like I said, Hey, here's the best news. If yeah. it ends up not being the right move and yeah. Yeah. And right. Yeah. But I think it's the right way to do things. We want to make things where it's consumable. This gives something for Dion from the parking lot to yell about and send them to. Yeah. And they don't have to sift through anything. Right. Without being overwhelmed. That's yeah. You don't have to sift through anything. Yeah. I yeah. think a new person coming to my channel, it's like, Oh, Hey, I'll check them out. Right. I saw him on Ryan. I saw him on Sean's. They look at a video. They like it. And then the next day they get six notifications. Like, what the heck? That was my big <laughs> fear in all of this. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for asking. Um, feels like the right move. We'll see. Uh, we're up to 100 and whatever it was, 19. 119 and counting. 119. The only yeah. question is, is for the Vegas party, are we adding that number on top of the ORAT number? Or is it just, okay, so it's, you got it. I don't cheat. Come on. Not, I'm just making sure, just making no, no, sure no. nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. We need 37. I think I did the math. No, 34. I think we need 34 new subs a day in August. And we hit 50,000 August 31st. Nice. On the main channel. I like it. 34 a day, folks. Like, subscribe, comment. I would appreciate it. Uh, Matt, where can people find you? 
Hey, Lumberjack Landlord on Instagram and on YouTube, Sunday mornings, 1130 a.m. Eastern time, where we talk about all things real estate. There you go. Thanks, brother.